Hey everybody, welcome back to Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Network, home to the Pacific Rim Speedway. I am your host, Rubber Toe, and we are broadcasting atop the Yomatsu Harasakai Tower. And tonight, it's Sunday night, it's race night, and I am super excited because it is the finale of the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament. Two semifinal rounds and one finals matchup to determine who will be the champion of the Koopa Cabana and move on to the end of season King of Monsters tournament. But first up, I want to give a big shout out to Ra Sun God for being a channel member. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to support us here at Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing, just click on the join button below and you can join for as little as $1 a month where I share backstage behind the scenes stuff of our new build, what's going on. Uh, you get early access to driver matchups, things like that. It's really, really cool. So, shall we get on to it? I think we should. Yes, we should definitely get on to the finale of the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Network. No, Diecast Racing Speedway? Pacific Rim Speedway. Man, I'm so excited, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's get started. All right, first up, we've got Scooter Roundwell from Spirit of 64. His fastest lap was 6.02 seconds, two wins and 25 points. He will be joined in his semifinal group by Big Romy from Rivera Racing. His fastest lap time was 6.04. He's got three wins under his belt and 28 points currently coming into the semifinals. They will be joined by Arlo from Arlo Racing. His fastest lap sub six at a 5.84, two wins and 21 points coming into tonight's race. And last but not least for this first semifinal group, Big Al from Big Al's Custom Diecast. He's also got a sub six second time at 5.98 with four lap wins and 30 points. He is the favored winner to move on tonight all right here they are you got scooter and big romy lined up on the front row followed by big al and arlo on the back row here they go kicking off the semi-final lap one and scooter roundwell is out front followed by big al big al trying to catch him look at those three cars oh, all getting together here comes big romy from fourth oh my word arlo no no arlo's stops at right before the finish line to get one of those tasty kebabs look at the replay scooter roundwell out in front big romy in third look at look at these three cars big al big romy arlo all trying to pass one another and scooters out in front and look at that beautiful inside pass big romy right underneath big al to try to challenge for first. He's unable to get around for first, but definitely take second around away from Big Al. And look at this. I don't know what Arlo was thinking. Maybe maybe Big Romy touched him on that pass and he popped the tire something and just blew it out. Comes to it. Look at that. Look at that. Not even a car length from the finish line. He stops for a big goose egg DNF. Man, I hope that K-Bab was worth it, Arlo. So... Big Al moves up to the front row with Scooter. Big Romy moves to the back row with Arlo. Arlo needs some points, man. You can't, you can't expect to win if you don't get points on the board. Here they are. Big Al hits the whole shot, but look at Scooter. Oh, they all slide. Oh, there goes Big Romy from fourth to first. What a pass. What a pass. Oh, man. How did Big Romy do that? Going all the way to fourth place to win the lap i tell you what that was exciting look at big al hits the whole shot and arlo and scooter are just fighting big al trying to hold off both cars look at that look at this block by big al going around the helipad but there's romy big romy hunting both cars up front get squirrely and big romy sees his opportunity right there look at that beautiful pass underneath to go from fourth to first 
Man, Big Romy, Big Al, Arlo, and Scooter Roundwell is their finish on the lap two. That shakes up the points a lot, but Arlo needs to get more points, and he is in the pole position now with Big Al on the front row, Scooter moves to the back, Big Romy. Here they go for lap three. Can Arlo hold? Oh, something happens to Big Romy. Big Romy blows something, but here comes Arlo. He's not blowing anything. Takes first, all four cars finish. Wow. Oh, and a sub six second time. Is it fast enough to beat his previous lap record? He is the Pacific Rim lap record holder. No, even though it's a sub six, it is half a second off his previous time and that accurate during the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, the JDM tournament. Look at the replay. Something happens to Big Romy right there, right around the guard tower where all of a sudden he's with the pack and then he just slows down a lot. I don't know if he blew a rod, blew a cylinder, something happened, but he was able to keep that car going. And here they come, Arlo flooring it, followed by Big Al Scooter trying to pass him but unable to do so, and they all finish in that order. Fourth and final lap, Big Romy on the front. Oh my word, two, what is this? Two points, two points separate all these cars. Who's gonna win it? Just two points, who's gonna want it more? Big Romy, Big Al, oh, Arlo or Scooter. Big Romy hits the whole shot, Scooter on the back, end. oh no, Scooter flips and hits Arlo. Big Romy finishes in first, followed by Scooter in second, Big Al in third, and where is Arlo? That happened so fast. All of a sudden, I see Scooter doing a 180 flip kick hitting Arlo, and what happened? Here they come around, kick a poo pass. Watch Scooter. Scooter flips around. Oh! Scooter felt Arlo on his bumper, flips around, smacks Arlo into gate three, and Big Al hits him even harder and flips him over. Whoa, Arlo, man. Oh, that was a tough break. Those cars are out for blood. And Big Romy and Scooter Roundwell advance. Big Al, unfortunately, the favorite to win this one is not advancing on. Let's check out the stats of these two cars that'll be moving on. Scooter Roundwell and Big Romy. You got that Jaguar F-Type and that Porsche 944. Man, both near the 70 gram mark, right around six seconds, and their worst finish was fourth. But man, Scooter, two wins. Whoo, we'll get on to the next group right after this quick break. Hey, everybody, Monster Motorsports is partnering up with Glenn's Car Creations. Glenn was so generous to create this new design for a t shirt for, to represent what Monster Motorsports diecast racing is truly about. Be sure to head on over to our merch store link below to catch one of these t-shirts or a pint glass. Now back to the next group. You got Motor Breath and Aston Martin. His fastest time was a sub six. He's got three lap wins and coming in with 20 points into the semifinals. He'll be joined by Mopar Mac from Mac Racing. His fastest time was also a sub six, three wins and 29 points. He is the favorite to move on to the semifinals in this group. And up next is Apotheca Death from Raw Sun God Racing. Her fastest lap time was 6.34, two wins and 20 points coming into the semis. Last but not least, we've got Blaze and Raiden, the dynamic duo from Dogtown. Their fastest time, also a sub six at 5.79. Three wins and 25 points. This is one tough group. Which of these two are going to be moving on to the finale? Blaze and Mopar Mac on the front row. Motor Breath and Apotheca Death on the back row here for lap one. Here they go. Mopar Mac gets a quick out, but Blaze hits the whole shot, followed by... Motor breath, Blaze getting squirrely, but can Blaze hold off first place? And he does. Oh my word. And Motor breath blocks Mopar Mac almost halfway down the track to maintain second place. Mopar Mac in third, Apothecadeth in fourth. Let's check out the replay here. 
Motor Breath fighting with Mopar Mac. Look at him. He's doing everything he can to block Mopar all the way down the back straight, all the way through the helipad turn. Check out the overhead of the helipad. Mopar Mac doing everything he can to get around Motor Breath, but cannot. Here they come around Kaiju's lair, and wow, Motor Breath still fighting, gets his wheel up on top of the rail as he crosses the finish line. Motor Breath was not giving up that second place spot to Mopar Mac. What an insane race. I tell you what, that was some driving by Motor Breath, who now moves up to the front row with Blaze. Mopar Mac moving to the back row with Apotheca Death for lap two. Here they go. Oh, they are neck and neck. Motor Breath out in front, gets the whole shot, followed by Blaze and Raiden. Blaze trying to challenge. Here comes Mopar Mac as well. Oh, again. Motor Breath is all about the block tonight. Motor Breath feels both cars on his bumper and blocks them at the finish line. Check out the finish line cam. Wow. Motor Breath definitely takes first, but I can't tell who took second between Blaze and Mopar. Oh my gosh, that is so close. It looks like Blaze hit the laser first, but it's hard to tell. Let's check out the overhead. Oh, we got to run that one more time. Let's zoom in and freeze frame it. And Blaze is further forward, crosses the beam first. So Blaze steals second place from Mopar. <clears throat> Whoa. <clears throat> got to get a drink here from my Wild Bill's mug. Oh. Blaze steals second place for Mopar Mac. But here they go for lap two, lap three. I can't remember, but a pot to get out in front. Oh, Mopar spins. Mopar crashes. Here comes Motor Breath. Apotheca Death takes first. Motor Breath in second. But Mopar Mac nowhere to be seen. Blazing Raiden nowhere to be seen. Looks like a double DNF for those two. Check out the replay. Apotheca Death hits the whole shot. And you got Mopar and Motor Breath fighting again. Mopar is able to slip into second place but they get squirrely on the backside. Looks like Mopar hits the light pole and forces Blaze to hit gate five. So Mopar Meth, Mopar Meth, Mopar Mag hits the light pole in the middle straight, pinballs off, knocks Blaze and Raiden into gate five, but then Mopar Mac has no momentum, rolls it in Kaiju's lair. All right, Mopar Meth, I mean Mopar Mac, Moves to the front row with Apotheca Death for the fourth and final lap. The point spread, anybody can still take it. Here we go, fourth and final lap. Mopar Mac out in front, followed by Blaze and Raiden in second. Blaze trying to pass Mopar, but here he comes again. Can he do it? No, Mopar Mac holds him off to take first. And, oh, wow, I was worried about motor breath, man. It, it looked like he wasn't going to finish. Oh, whoo. All four cars finish. Man, we got to see the replay here on what happens. Look on the backstretch. Blaze is trying to pass Mopar Mac. Oh, Motor Breath gets sideways, and that just slows him down. That's why it came in fourth. And then you got Blaze still trying to pass Mopar Mac around Kaiju's lair, unable to do so. And here comes Motor Breath just trickling along in fourth. Oh, the final point standings. Motor Breath, even with a fourth place, moves on with Blaze and Raiden. And Mopar Mac, the favored, is denied his chance to go on to the semifinals. Here are the point stats for that Jaguar and that Aston Martin, both each with a win. Fastest lap time, 6.2 versus 6.3. Woo! Man, and Motor Breath, the lightest car moving on to the semifinals with 49.7 seconds. Here are your finalists. Ladies and gentlemen, you got Scooter Roundwell, Big Romy, Blaze and Raiden, and Motor Breath. Because why? It's metaphorical. All right. While these cars get up to the start gate, we're going to take a quick short break. Don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, if you want to support our channel, head on over to our merchandise store 
and pick up a t-shirt like this one or one of our sweet pint glasses. We do teas and pint glasses for all our races. You can also click the join button below to become a channel member for as little as $1 a month. All right, we are back. It is the finale. One of these cars moving on to be champion and the king of monsters end of season tournament. Scooter and Big Romy start off on the front row. Here they go, lap one. Scooter Roundwell gets the whole shot. Motor breath, oh, motor breath hits gate three. Motor breath hits gate three. Oh, and another photo finish. Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I'm losing my voice. Look at the replay. Scooter Roundwell hits the whole shot. Motor breath in second. Motor breath overcorrects. Hits gate three. Gets completely taken out. Big Romy and Blaze fly right by. Wait, where did he go? Where did Mo Motor breath? Oh my gosh, falls into the police parking lot upside down. Oh, he's upside down, but at least, you know, you got the police, you got emergency services. Hopefully Motor Breath is okay. Scooter Roundwell gets squirrely. Big Romy tries to pass and then Blaze with a last second charge tries to take advantage. Oh, who finished in second? Oh, freeze frame. Blaze steals second place from Big Romy just like he steal second place from Mopar Mac in the semis. Wow, Blaze knows how to get that extra inch out of that car. Oh, Motor Breath and Scooter Roundwell now on the front row for lap two. He needs some points after that DNF. Motor Breath out in front, hits the whole shot. They both get squirrely, all cars challenging. Motor Breath able to stay in front for first. Oh! <laughs> Blaze blocks Big Romy, but in doing so, ends up stalling out and stopping before the finish line. Also, well, at least those two cars drive, those three drivers can get some tasty kebabs. Motor Breath slips on the Kaiju Blue, spins around, ends up blocking all the cars, <clears throat> but something happened. <clears throat> oh, Blaze hits the speed trap, must have blown the tire comes to a stop right there ends up blocking big Romy. look at that they can get their tasty kebabs before lap three hop out of the car get your kebab then head back up to the start gate just throw it on that engine block it'll stay warm not a problem Woo! halfway through the semifinals here is the point standings wow it looks like scooter roundwell is taken away but here comes motor breath but don't count out Big Romy and Blaze both now on the inside lane. Watch them get some points here. Blaze gets the whole shot. Motor Breath in second, Scooter in third. Oh, Blaze spins. Blaze trying to block. Oh, Big Romy coming from the back again to steal second place. Oh, my word. This is so exciting. I'm losing my voice. Woo. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the replay here. Blaze hits the whole shot. Motor Breath trying to pass Big Romy underneath. Then here comes Scooter passing Big Romy underneath for third place and pushes Big Romy to fourth. Big Romy is now in fourth place, but Blaze spins. Watch this move by Big Romy right here at the end. Slips around Scooter and Motor Breath to steal second place. Another fourth to second. Look at this, passes both cars in Kaiju's lair. Oh, and Blaze and Big Romy are back in it to win it. Just like the lotto, you gotta be in it to win it. Let's see the point spread. Oh my good, four points separate all four cars, four points. Anybody can take this. Big Romy and Blaze out in front, Motor Breath and Scooter in the back. It looks like Big Romy's got the pole position. He's gonna get the whole shot. Can Big Romy win it? Big Romy out front, Big Romy spins, Scooter and Blaze fighting for second. Scooter in second, Blaze and Raiden in third. Where's, where's Motor Breath? Where, 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 oh where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone, Motor Breath? Motor Breath is in fourth, coming around the helipad turn. 
He's right there behind Blaze. Blaze challenging Scooter for second. Let's see the, oh, middle straight. He gets squirrely and just comes to a stop right there, right before <clears throat> gate five. Wow, that is unfortunate. Oh, and Scooter Roundwell's the champion. Scooter Roundwell's the champion. The only car to finish all four laps. Scooter Roundwell from Spirit 64 is our Koopa Cabana champion driving that 1989 Porsche 944 Turbo. Colorado represent. Oh, Colorado, local Colorado. I love it. Scooter Roundwell, pretty much an underdog, not a big name, no name, comes in and just keeps finishing every single lap. Consistency, consistency, consistency. It is key here at the Pacific Rim Speedway. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Scooter Roundwell from Spirit 64 has won the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament. We'll be right back with final thoughts right after this. Oh my gosh. Welcome back. That was an amazing finale to the Koopa Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament. Man, you had Arlo, you had Big Romy, you had Mopar Mac, you had Big Al. The rookies, Blaze and Raiden, the first driver co-pilot team, all to make it to the semifinals. All these big names and Scooter Roundwell just slipping right in there. And But that's the thing. Scooter finished every single lap. He was consistent. He stayed in the top three positions every lap. Never DNF. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he never DNF and just kept going. What an epic finish. Oh, my word. So that is the conclusion of the Cooper Cabana Diecast Racing Tournament. Be sure to hit that bell notification. No, bell notification to be notified well that's what it is a bell notification so you get notified of all our future content next week is the kickoff to the ram rod 400 this is a big blower big motor mail-in tournament and the rules are simple any car any casting any wheel or axle combination one rule you gotta have a big motor that is bigger than the roof, bigger than, taller than the roof. I don't care if the motor's mounted on the front. I don't care if the motor's mounted on the back. It's gotta be taller than the roof. So this tournament is nothing but big motor cars to give homage to the Oldsmobile 442 Big V8. So I've got a sneak peek for those of you that have stuck around. Here is the intro for the Ramrod 400. You don't want to miss it. I am Rubber Toe, wishing everyone to be safe and keep your wheels on the road.